Okay, so what I'm going to do basically is enhance her face a little bit by getting rid of a little bit of shadow. And I'm also going to enhance her lips a little bit more. And just give the makeup a little bit more of a um, noticeable effect. So, the way I'm going to do that is create a new layer. I'm going to start by pressing and holding Command, Shift, and pressing N. Then I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light, which gives you this little checkbox. Fill with soft light neutral color. We want to do that. And press OK. Now, grab your brush tool. We're going to start with white. You're using white and black. We're going to drop the opacity on this brush to 20%. And we're going to start going over some of the shadows that she has. Shadow detail basically makes her face look softer, younger, and really helps the important things like eyes stand out. So get a little, all the shadow away from her nose. Keep things subtle. Make the brush bigger. That's looking pretty good. So before, after. It's definitely helping her show up a little bit more. Now let's invert that, make it black, and get a little bit of shadow around her lips. That way those start to show up a little bit more as well. Just in the shadows to really make her lips stand out. So before, after, before, after. There we go, it's looking good. Now what I'd like to do is enhance her lips a little bit more. I'm gonna go into quick mask mode and I'm going to paint in her lips. It should be this interesting red color, but make sure that your opacity, of, first of all, is at 100% and just start painting in her lips. There we go. Get out of quick mask mode. You'll notice everything around her lips is selected. We go to select, inverse, and now just her lips are selected. And what we want to do is add an adjustment layer. So we want it to be curves. So I'm going to grow the red and enhance them a little bit. Not a lot. That's too much. Just a little tiny bit. I'm going to go to the greens, drop them so I can add a little magenta. There we go. And then go to blue and add a tad bit of blue to it or the opposite way to bring in a more full red color. And that's a little bit much, so I'm going to drop the opacity of this to 75%. So we'll look at it. This is after the change and that's before. It just adds a little bit more fullness, a little bit more life to the lips. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We added a little bit of enhancement around her face, got rid of some of the shadows and enhanced her lips. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions regarding touch-ups and enhancements with Photoshop, please send me an email to requests at mahalo.com. And please be sure to also rate, comment, and subscribe below.